Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in Django framework. So that is if condition, how can we use if condition? So in our previous session, we have seen what is a model view template in that we have seen what we have to write in the view and what we have to create the template and how the template can be used. So coming to this uh, if condition, Coming to the if condition, the syntax will be in between these two delimiters. So here we need to write this one and here we need to write if and uh, we need to write some condition here. And after that, uh, we need to write the statements, uh, what to be get executed. And here we need to get uh, else condition here in between the delimiters. So remember in the Django framework, everything should be written in between these delimiters curly braces and percentage symbol and here we have to end the if right so after completion of that uh, if else so we have to use a end if end if right so this is the syntax for uh, using if condition in django framework now let us check here uh, let us move on with the uh, vs code and uh, uh, let us check out so I'll, I'll copy this code so I'll close this folder and we are working on a different folder so that is uh, open this folder and let us open envs and django project and here uh, i think it was a web page yes so we need to create a web page folder open the web page folder and see this is a web page we have done and uh, let us see the welcome.html right so uh, let us go with the i'll remove all the things i'll write the code here hi and the name which should be written in uh, the views right uh, i'll go with the br welcome to if condition concept in Django framework okay so let us uh, take this one and see uh, here I am writing here uh, percentage if and name if there is a name so we are printing this one and if we are not sending the names that means else what to be printed in instead of name i'll print guest okay so the same thing i'll repeat here so print uh, here we'll see instead of name if there is if the name was not given so you can go with the guest okay so and we have to end the end if right so percentage end if and percentage so this is the welcome.html we have written and we have to update the views so in the views let us see um yes so i'll remove this one so here name saradi welcome.html and we are passing the data so we are giving the name so we will be it will be displaying as hi saradi welcome to if condition concept in jan so this should be written here now in order to run this back end we have to run the web server so first we we need to go with the command prompt and cd envs inside that uh, we need to go with the django project django underscore project and uh, inside scripts 
and activate the virtual environment. Now actual virtual environment has been activated. Now we need to go with the project, which is a web page, it's a project, and run the server, Python, manage.py, run server. Yes, now you can observe it running. And let us check whether we have given any name for this uh, uh, home page. Go to the URLs. So we have seen C home, which is a home. We have to give the extend extension as home and about. So which should be printed here in views. We have given home right. Yeah, welcome dot HTML. So let us uh, open the browser and go to the site so nothing is printed because we are having a three pages home about so let us go with the home so which gives a hi saradi welcome to if condition concept in django framework so here we are giving the condition in the welcome.html here we are giving the condition right so if the condition was true this code will be get executed otherwise this code will be get executed see for example uh, in views.py i am not uh, giving the name as a parameter to the rendering i don't want to render the name okay now uh, let us save save this file and let us execute what will be printed So let us go with the run server info terror about from the page dot views. Okay, so from views. Okay, so let us move on with the URL. So let us remove this about because we have not written written it. And yes, so let us uh, check out. Once again, home. So just wait. We'll go with the console and we'll check what's happening exactly. So once again, we got the same thing. Uh, so we are getting the same thing. URLs.py and web pages dot view view import name about from web pages dot view cannot import about so we are not using any about right home uh, yes let us go to the views dot py we are using only home yes so we are not passing any data here We are not passing any data and go to the URLs. You can remove this about and let us refresh. Yes, you can see. Hi, guest, welcome to if condition concept in Django framework. So, here what we have done. So, we are not taking any kind of data to render. So, obviously. In welcome.html if name it becomes false we are not taking any name okay so that's why obviously the else condition will be executed and here it will be uh, this code will be get executed so this is a simple example how we can use the if condition in Django framework so this is the syntax so everything should be enclosed in curly braces and percentage so in curly braces percentage we need to write the if and followed by the condition and in the in the same curly braces and percentage we need to write the else and beyond that we have to write down the code which we want to execute if the condition becomes false and finally we need to close the end if so this is a simple syntax for using if condition right so hope you understood let's say once again uh, we will include uh, the name and let us check so i'll take the comment here and i'll pass the data here so you can check out what happens so actually now we are sending the name so 
it have to print the name so initially it was hi guest yes so we got hi sarah right because we are passing the name so this is how so hope you understood this one and uh, enjoyed my session if you really uh, enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much